Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance video. Today I want to talk about Christian Dior's Vetiver. And this is a woody fragrance and it came out in 2010. The notes, grapefruit, raw Haitian vetiver, and South American coffee. Base notes, seven positives, one neutral, zero negatives. So you can see this one had a rather good uh, response at base notes. Now this fragrance, it's a pretty simple composition. You definitely get vetiver, a little grapefruit in there, and uh, the coffee note is the one note in this fragrance that I think kind of is what uh, people are a little bit, you know, unsure about. Personally, I'm not sure if I get like a true coffee smell here, but what I kind of get, definitely like a sweet, slightly nutty aroma here. And uh, when I first wore this one, I thought I got, you know, a good dose of the grapefruit, and I thought it was a little bit like Paul Smith's story. But when I uh, came back to it again later and started giving it a few more wearings, it started to remind me a little bit more of Hermesin's Vetiver Tonka. And in fact, one day I actually smelled the two side by side and I was having a little bit of difficulty knowing which one was which. Um, I think with uh, Dior's Vetiver, you do get a bit more of a grassy feel. It's still similar in sweetness. I would say maybe 20-25% less sweet than Vetiver Tonka, but still... This one is a bit of a sweetened grapefruit vetiver, and it's a nice, pleasant, easy-to-wear um, signature vetiver, I think, but uh, really not anything too profound or anything. I think if you actually already have vetiver tonka, this one's really not necessary. Um, I don't have a lot of fresh, green, grassy, sweet, fruity vetivers, but uh, yeah, this one's okay. I would say also... Maybe a little bit in the same vein as Vetiver Fatal from Atelier. And since that one is available in a multitude of bottle sizes, that one might be a better alternative. The problem with this one is that the bottle sizes start at 4.2s and then go up to 8.4s. So unless you're a splitter or getting a decant, um, or you just have a very um, strong um, customer loyalty thing about uh, Dior fragrances. You're probably not really going to want to get the big bottle here. So uh, let's get into some final scores. The smell, 7 out of 10. A nice, pleasant, easy to wear vetiver. I'm not a big fan of vetiver. Maybe if I liked vetiver more, I'd give it a higher score, but I don't hate vetiver. So 7 out of 10. Uh, projection longevity, that did okay for like 2 to 4 hours. And then it kind of stays close to the skin. That so will say 7 out of 10 there. Versatility, Seven and a half out of ten, great for springtime, but just any time you want to wear a good vetiver fragrance at the office, this one's not bad. Uniqueness, six out of ten, pretty similar to a lot of other vetivers with a sweet, fruity feel. Price point, uh, discontinued fragrance, but you can get it on eBay. The 4.2s at around 240, and if you can find an 8.4, it'll cut you a deal at 320. So maybe about you know five out of ten for price point. Still maybe about sixty dollars an ounce or so if you get the smaller bottle, but uh, you know a bit cheaper if you get the larger one. So that's why I say decanters are going to really want to look into uh, this vetiver. Seven out of ten overall though, good vetiver, but I probably won't be pursuing this one anymore. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.